really really want to take the time out to show appreciation to the soft feminine girls like myself a lot of feminine girls like myself is very self-confident they have self-love within themselves they are caring they are nurturing they are just soft feminine they are very confident within themselves very beautiful very sexy just very soft and elegant now don't get it fucked up i'm in the house in my bed so that's why i'm wearing what i'm wearing but once i step out i'm classy so don't come for me and a lot of soft women let their man be a man they are submissive to their man i'm not talking about you know letting a man walk all over them a lot of girls get that confused i'm talking about letting their man provide for them letting their man care for them while the man is being masculine the girl is being feminine so for all the soft and feminine girls out there, I just want to take out the time to let you know that I appreciate you and I appreciate myself. This goes into the file of you cannot make this shit up. And even though <laughs> I knew that black women would come back to the table and I knew they would and I knew they would come uh, bearing gifts and negotiating and I knew they would have a, a change in tactic. Maybe can't change attitude that fast. You can't change training that fast. You can't change culture that, that fast. The black girl culture, the black woman culture that we have now has been passed down for 12 generations. You can't just stop. It's not going to happen. In a few months is not going to make that big a shift. But the shift really started with, with COVID. COVID really started the, started the noticeable shift. We're Black women knew they needed a man and they knew they needed a man and they don't start at the bottom. They started at the top. They started with the high value six figure guy. And that's fine. Okay, you start at the top, that's good, that's cool. And then if you can't qualify, you keep falling down levels until you find where your level is. Like like water will seek the lowest level. So whatever level it stops at, that's the level that a woman will accept. You don't have to believe me, just go out and look go outside get off the dating app and go outside and look around and you'll find out water and women and men seeking their own level where, wherever that is so they thought that COVID would end which technically COVID era has ended whether you believe it or not technically it has ended no more masks no more lockdowns everybody get your ass back to work right back to a quote unquote normal life so now that we're back to a normal life supposedly we get rocked by this stagflation this year. Not even get into why. I'm not even going to, it's not that video today. 25, 30% inflation on food, gas, whatever, whatever goods you can think of. You have a 30% across the board inflation. You have rent crisis. You got a homelessness crisis. You got all these crises all going off at the same time. And guess what? Doesn't matter if he's high value or not, it can be great value. You still need a partner. You still need a man. You need some, need some help. And like I said, the when the music stops, it doesn't matter what color the chair is. You need a chair to sit in and musical chairs. And if you don't have a chair to sit in, you're out. You're out the game. So recently, and I think this goes back to May. And, you know, shout out to O.B. Allen. He noticed it first that we call this soft girl era. Not to be confused with the Victoria era that the white women are on. White women are on the same thing, soft girl shit, but they're on uh, on a different lane, okay? <laughs> so now you have the soft girl era for, for white girls, for black girls. And just like the title says, soft girl era equals black girl finesse part two. Why do I say part two? Now originally, the way black girls came at black men, okay? Black women came at black men, overinflating their value, shaming 
black men, calling them weak, not real men, calling them betas, calling them incels, call them a whole bunch of names, right? We shame black men back into submission so they can finesse them out of time, money, labor, resources, uh, attention, whatever they could get from them. Now, they had a fair chance uh, before Kevin, before COVID, before Kevin, they had a fair chance that uh, some of that stuff would work. Some of it worked. It didn't work perfectly, but some of it would work because the, the black manosphere kind of kept some of that stuff at bay, which is something they didn't like because they kept their, their dastardly plan from working, from converting all the black male masses into compliant concuserfs. So COVID actually blew it out of the water. Okay, the brothers knew that, okay, the game has changed. I don't have to accept less. Most women don't qualify for even what I have. So I can hold out. In fact, you know, I've been on monk mode. I've been on hold for months. And guess what? Without a woman, I'm not going to die. I'm going to be just fine. In fact, other than some sex, it's more peaceful without a woman. And so now I can step back and I can evaluate for the woman that's in front of me, especially a black woman with her attitude, with her snarkiness, with her sign language, all the stuff that makes her not quite up to snuff and not quite qualified for me. And I, I could actually evaluate her fairly. So all the snarkiness, the sign language, the name calling, calling me beta, incel, uh, not real, all that kind of stuff that used to work, guess what, it don't work anymore because I can do without you. I can say no. I can say no thank you. And a lot of women were getting a lot of no thank yous. Even under COVID, but they could hang on. If we, as soon as we get out of this, everything will be back the way it was. Then comes the stagflation. Then comes the evictions. Then comes the 30% inflation and the job starting to thin out. Now what? Now, I can't use sign language. I can't use uh, intimidation. I can't use aggression to get these concuserfs back in line. I have to figure out another way. What did Kevin Samuels say about that? Fit, feminine, and friendly? That I have to be in shape, I have to be nice, and I have to be soft and feminine? Hmm. And who are those girls that are getting the guys that, that the guys actually like, the black men actually like, that black men actually support? Because they were willing to defer to their men, willing to be nice to the men, willing to be what the men actually wanted. What were they called? They were called pygmies. They were called pygmies. They were called mammies. A whole bunch of other names. Huh. But guess what? What they're doing seems to be working in this environment. So me being a city girl and me being a hot girl, me having a sleeve of tattoos and, and a train of bodies. Hmm. I got to put that on hold. I have to change my image. I see them as sheep and I'm a wolf. So let me go ahead and put on their clothing. But you got soft girls from and it is what black men think it is it's a finesse because what they haven't said is what they're going to give the man but they're going to appear to be what you want fit feminine and friendly well the fit part is going to take a while but they can they can feign femininity and they can feign friendliness they can cut the snark and give compliments they can get rid of the re the rbf rest in bitch face and smile remember when kevin told him to smile He's got coming a man can't ask you to smile. What's wrong with that? Now you see smiles all over the place. And you see the soft voice. You see the agreeable nature. Why? Because what they were doing is not working. And lastly, you really didn't hear much about the soft girl era. We heard about in the upper classes, but it didn't get any traction until you saw what? A whole bunch, a whole bunch of young guys waving this little blue passport on camera and say we're taking our talents out of the country it's one thing sister george said a while back and i have it uh, if i can find it i'll actually pull it up it's one thing she said black women will not believe that you negroes are serious until you leave and for a long while brothers thought they didn't have to leave but now they're coming on tiktok they're coming on instagram they're coming on, coming on twitter even coming on youtube with your ticket in hand and passport in hand saying, we out of here. Maria, here I come. Sue Ling, here I come. You have 
proms all the way across the country with everything else except a black girl. Black women said we needed to vote with our feet. We have. And what I see as the soft girl era is the beginning of them raising the white flag. Can't quite trust them because the white flag could mean girls don't shoot till you see the whites of their eyes. Beware. But when I said the war is over, war is over. This is the indication that the war is over. This is an indication that the war is over, folks. The fighting's over. This is their peace treaty, if you want to accept it. I wouldn't. I would say not enough. Ten years ago, black men would have accepted this as a peace offering. In this environment, with the economy going to shit, with the biggest uh, population of homeless, uh, fastest growing population of homeless, which, which is black women, black women are on their back foot and they're retreating and they're trying to sue for peace. What terms are you going to ask for? Because I can tell you the soft girl era is not enough. Not enough. And they ask black men, what do they want? We want our kids. We want you to get the white man off our necks. When all the brothers that are on child support, in jail for child support, we want them out. We want 50-50 custody and all the white man's money that you collected, that you've been wine buying weaves and houses and eyelashes with. We want those that invested into our boys. It'd be nice if we could get a, a cut of it. The thing is, we know that's not going to happen. That's probably a bridge too far. Give it to your boys. Put your boys first instead of the black girl magic. Do that, you might have a shot. If not, okay. Maybe Brad has space for you in his harem. With that, I'm going to bounce off of here. This is BGS out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.